Hello, my name is Alan Owens, and I am the GC and GCMS product manager here at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will show you how to properly shut down your GC2030. First of all, it's important to note that you should not turn off GC power when the system is hot. First, turn off the heat control to cool down the oven and other modules. From Lab Solutions software, you can either press System Off in the Acquisition menu at the left, or press System Off from the toolbar at the top. Then verify that you want to shut down the GC by clicking Yes in the pop-up window. It's important to wait until the system is completely cool before turning off the carrier gas flow. Turning off the gas flow while the GC is still hot could damage the column and some detectors. We recommend that all temperature zones be below 50 degrees Celsius before the gas is turned off. If ECD is used on the GC system, you must cap off the vents. While the gas is still flowing, locate the ECD vent in the back of the GC. Cap off with three aluminum gaskets or red rubber O-rings that comes with your Shimazu GC. This will fill the ECD cells with inert gases. All other GC detectors can be left open without additional capping of vent lines. Once the system is completely cooled, the GC power may be turned off. The electronic gas flow controllers will stop when the GC is powered off. However, you will need to turn off manual flow controllers yourself. You can use the cutoff valves or turn the regulators off. For long-term shutoff, we recommend turning off the gas tanks as well. For more information about the Shimazu GC2030, please visit us at www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.